Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys. Welcome back to the Wisconsin region, and welcome back to our continued exploration of the public test server's Phase 3 early content. Now, currently, we are on the second map in this region called Grainwoods River, and we are attempting a contract called Weightlifting, which involves pulling a locomotive down the train tracks. Now, here is the locomotive in question, which on the map might look like a Western Star, but I promise you it is actually a locomotive and you'll see several little things like that But rest assured that that is solely because this is a early public test server build of the phase 3 downloadable content So with that being said we have our JBE Hummer H2 running Pogrim's tires We also have our bore right here and I'm thinking about using the bore for this because I feel like it's not going to be the lightest thing in the world to pull but at the same time, the terrain shouldn't be too bad. All we need to do is pull it on a straight shot all the way down to the warehouse. Now, the only thing about our bore is that it is lifted. The only problem with it is the fact that since the game is having some sort of odd glitch right now, a lot of, pl a lot of players are experiencing this where they could not migrate their progress. They instead had to start a brand new save on phase three on the pts and they lost all their rankings now the thing is i tried to code in a new ranking and rank myself up and the game wouldn't let me do that and repeatedly kept deleting my save it was like no you are going to start from the very beginning no matter what and i'm like all right so we're gonna do it then so with that being said this thing has all-wheel drive diff lock and we have located the variable ratio transmission however we do not have the larger tire size. We have a 54 instead of a 58. I believe they're a 54 anyway, which this truck makes them look absolutely freaking tiny. Now, I will also say that that particular issue, by the time this video goes out, it may be fixed. It may not be fixed. We will have to wait and see. But first things first, we got to get down there to the train tracks. And I believe we already have beans in here. You bet we do. And literally one of the saddest horns, but not as sad as the international twin steer that thing has a very sad horn so let's again verify that we're going the correct direction and i know this is basically just in tractor configuration right now but that's okay because we don't really need a don't really need a trailer for this i don't really think it would be i don't really think it would be something the game would want you to do i mean the, the locomotive is already on the rails it's already on the train tracks and so for that reason, I feel like it's probably the best course of action to just tow it down the rails. Now, this truck does have some glitchy axles right now, and that is also just public test server things, but we gotta be very careful with these axles because we don't really have that many repair points, if any. So, it actually, it does fit on the train tracks pretty well, though, so it may be pretty well suited to this contract we just have to keep an eye on our speed and we have to keep an eye on whether or not we get the front end really close to the ground because if we do we're in big trouble because the hitbox for this engine is very 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 low now as far as just running through the woods though this thing might as well be a freaking locomotive because of how big it is it literally it's probably gonna make the dang lo locomotive look small and I don't say that jokingly. It's probably going to be about the same size. It is a very commanding driving position. It really, really is. Insanely commanding driving position this thing has. So once we get down here, just to let, you know, just to let the wildlife know we're coming. But once we get down here, we're going to turn the truck around, back it up to the locomotive, and we're just going to pull it. We're just going to pull it and see what happens. If it falls off the rails, then, uh, well, we'll deal with that problem when we get to it. So we're going to just be really careful to, like, try to not do that. And uh, I just don't like how you have to go into dedicated low plus to turn the diff lock on. Oh, although it was getting really mad at me really quick. Those axles really wanted to overheat, didn't they? Hey, buddy. You ready to head to your new home? Oh boy. Well, so there's the locomotive for you. Pretty sweet looking thing, to be honest. Like, from a visual standpoint especially, definitely one of the more interesting visuals that we've had in this game so far. I mean, look at it. It's a freaking train. It's a legitimate train. And 
I think seeing the boar next to it probably, well, a couple of things. One, makes you realize how big the locomotive is. And two, it also makes you realize how big the boar is. The boar is, um, well, the boar is gigantic. The boar is ginormous. But, yeah. Well, it's SnowRunner locomotive time, boys. Now, we could attempt to push it, but I feel like that might be a bad idea. So, now that we're turned around, let's go ahead and get on the other side. Hook up to it, try to keep everything on the train tracks, and uh, pull it to its destination. There's no way it would... Okay, I was going to say, it, would it let us switch to it? I know it wouldn't let us drive it, but like, would it even let us attempt to get in it? And no, the answer to that is absolutely no. And I figured it would be no, but I just wanted to see if the answer would actually be no. Now, I don't think I need to align this perfectly. I hope I don't. If I do need to align this perfectly, I'm going to be really surprised. Okay, functions, hitch to hitch, and that's actually really good because it's a center hitch to a center hitch. And let's go. Uh, okay. Well, that's not good. There it goes. We're moving. Boys, we are moving. Holy crap. And that thing is actually legitimately on the rails. Wow. Go for high. Come on. Keep it moving. Oh my god. We are actual train mode right now. The only thing is we uh, we don't have a train horn. I wish we did. That's about as good as you're going to get in terms of train horns right now, bud. Oh no! Keep that front axle centered. Because if that thing gets off of the rails... Of the oh my god, you can feel the weight. Like, it took a lot to get it moving, and now that it's moving, it doesn't want to stop. Whoa! Alright, can you, like, center yourself, please? Please, more! Come on! Come on! Don't you do Nope! I said get in the... Oh, it won't stay in the middle. It is in a state of, like all over the placeness right now. Although I am really glad that we went through here and cleared out the trees because it's a heck of a lot better with the trees cleared out, I'll tell you that. All right, this part's gonna be crucial, so let's try and get you centered. Not drifting. I mean, drifting's cool and all, but whoa! Dude, that's sketchy. The train is pushing me. Oh, the train is pushing me. We're about to go under the, the road, though. We're about to go under the bridge. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Wow. I tried to slow down, and it did not want to slow down. It was like, we are not doing that. Like, we are not slowing down in the least bit, bud. There's no slowdown happening here. There, Yeah, th there's no brakes on this train, that's for sure. No brakes on the Phase 3 hype train, I'll tell you that. But you know what? The boar is putting in work, and it is absolutely doing a great job. And considering the fact that it doesn't even have the biggest tires it can fit, this thing is a monster. I would love to know how much that locomotive actually weighs in, you know, in, in games terms, you know? Like, if that's one of the heaviest objects in the game, it should be one of the heaviest objects in the game, right? Like, if it wasn't, I couldn't imagine what would weigh more. Maybe, like, a giant stack of concrete blocks, but... Even then, the locomotive has to weigh so much. I mean, you know, a theoretical, theoretical ton, but not like, well, I should say, what's the hypothetical ton? Not theoretical, hypothetical ton. But like, I'm sure it weighs more than an actual ton, but still, like, it's got to weigh so much. All right, let's see how hard it is to slow this thing down. Brakes. Whoa. And we're still going, bud. I I'm going to speed it up so it doesn't stop all the way, but it's going to push me into the... Yep, it's going to push me into the station. Uh-huh. Bro, there it is. Looks like I lost 100 bucks to Steve. Well, now I have a good storage dump, I guess. All right. So, with that being said, we ranked up to level 4, and, it, you know, it's kind of weird because I haven't ranked up to level 4 in a long time. But, you know, you do you do what you gotta do when the, the public test server decides it's, uh, 
it's time for your profile to be reset. So it's just kind of one of those things that when you play around with the game early, you know, there's little bits and pieces and little things here and there that happen. And it's just part of it, you know? It's absolutely 100% just part of it. But I got to say that that was one of the most interesting and one of the most creative contracts I have seen in SnowRunner yet. And I am so happy, so happy that we found that locomotive and got that contract done. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.